Hello everyone, it's Clay Ramage. I'm back again with another haul video. It's garage sale season, I think, because I've been stopping at a lot of garage sales and uh, picking up different pieces here and there. So it's kind of exciting. So today I stopped at uh, one garage sale. I also went to an estate sale, an official estate sale run by an estate company and found some nice things. Most of the stuff was pretty high priced. Today was the first day of the sale, but I found some items that weren't high priced that I think can uh, do well and make us a little money. Um, so yeah, so it's good to see you all, and uh, let's just get right into it. So we went to this one sale, and I forgot it's up here. I had to pull these out. These are um, one of the things they had was this beautiful Fenton vase. This is hand, uh, hand painted. It's got the name on the bottom. Still has the label on the bottom as well. Now this is here's an interesting story. So this, my wife stopped by at the sale the, the day before I went, and then we went the next morning. So she charged $8 for this, which I paid. Uh, I like hand-painted Fenton, so it's a little more than I normally pay. But she also, the day before, she picked up this piece. Beautiful. The Apern, you know, this is the emerald crest and the green and the diamond pattern charged Cindy three dollars for this could you believe that three dollars and I was like that's a great score so when she asked eight dollars for the white face I was a little surprised but that not the only thing um, Cindy also got this beautiful Fenton basket still has the label on it this has the twisted handle um, and she charged Cindy three dollars for this one as well incredible deal I guess she felt I needed to pay more for this one. So that's part of the reason I didn't feel so bad about paying $8 for this, because these other two are definitely worth way more than the $3 that she charged Cindy. So anyway, wonderful Fenton Hall, isn't it? Wow, amazing pieces. Um, another thing we found, same sale, was she had a whole a set of five of these. The little window catchers, they're not stained glass, although they're made to look like it. They're actually painted glass. Um, it's a sheet of glass and then it's painted on the back side. But beautiful little hanger, you know, to put a suction cup on your window and then hang them from there. Um, I really liked them. She was asking a quarter a piece for them. So I picked them up. Um, they're handmade in Mexico and they're called detales. So Tally stained glass. So there are five of them. That's a small one. Then there's a couple larger ones. This one is called Iris. Just beautiful little things. I was thinking about putting these on the live sale. Um, so let me know if you think that would be a good idea on one of my live sales because I think they'd be nice. And then at the same... Nope, these are all different sales. Same sale. I did find this one. It's a hair barrette, but this is a made in France. It says right on their clip, made in France. And again, these um, tortoise shell style hair clips, I when they say made in France, I buy them, put them in a lot, and I do well. You know, I paid 25 cents for that. So, no, actually it was a dime. I paid a dime for that. So that was worth getting a dime. Then same day we're coming home and stopped at another garage sale they had a number of pieces of silverware they picked up this spoon it's unmarked there's no markings on it whatsoever but it is um, hand etched so there's the eagle in the cusp of the spoon and then on the bottom there's a deer elk and then an arrow so i really believe that this is uh, native american silver they typically are not marked it's probably from the southwest I was going to test it because I do think it is um, solid silver because um, the when it's carved in there it's the same color it's not like copper or anything underneath it which it would be if it was plated so but I really like that paid two dollars for that spoon great deal um, also found these which are the most darling little candlestick holders there's a pair of them little blue dress figurines that does have a sticker on the back it says hold it upside right might help made in japan so these are nice vintage figurines with felt bottoms um very nice 
So I think those will go on a live sale too. So if you like them, watch out for them. Or just send me a message and we can send them to you. Then today at the estate sale, this is what I found. I found these two shot glasses. This one's actually broken, but these are overlaid with sterling silver. Um, both of them. One's taller than the other, so large shot versus smaller shot. Um, in, and it's marked sterling 925 on the bottom. These are Mexican silver um, from Mexico, and I paid $2 each for those. So that alone was a good find. And I found this. I first found the lid. It was in a box of stuff that was 50 cents each. So I found the little lid. I'm like, oh, that's a lid. There's got to be a bottom. So then I found the bottom. It's got the little deer. And then on the bottom it says, handmade in cashmere for gumps. I don't know who the gumps are. Because um, the sale, their last name was not gump. So they must have picked it up somewhere. But yeah, just a cute little trinket box, handmade. Really liked it, hand painted. Very nice. Paid 50 cents for that. Then I found these. These are Fort Pewter. There's three of them. Um, spell the word joy. Uh, Christmas bears. So, and these were 50 cents each. So, I paid $1.50 for the three of these. And they're marked Fort. I don't know if you can see that. Um, but yeah, so those are. I'm going to look those up to see what they're worth. Now, don't laugh at me at this one. <laughs> but I couldn't pass it up. Because it's so unique. So, it's in, a, in the original baggie. And uh, it's in French. So, I couldn't really read it. But fortunately, on the back side, they have it in multiple languages. And yes, it's a water bottle. But isn't it like the most beautiful water bottle you've ever seen in your life? Look at that beautiful embroidered emblem on the front. It's covered in felt. It's beautifully soft. Um, this is not your average water bottle. That's all I got to say. And again, I have no idea what it says in the front, but I'll type that in and, and uh, get an interpretation. Um, and it's got instructions in three different languages. It's made by Kent. So, I don't know. I just... Thought I can't pass it up. I paid three dollars for that beautiful water bottle. Not that I use water bottles, but I think I can make some money on that. And the last thing I bought were these glasses, and I was really intrigued by them because you know that on first glance they don't look like very much, but I don't know how well it'll show up. But it's a most unusual design. The arm it has this extra piece of metal, you know, kind of woven over the top of the bow. The bow has this open loop at the end. And so I'm looking at them and, and typically they're marked on the inside, you know, for the size and, and country. There's nothing on the inside whatsoever. And the metal is discolored a little bit. And I was like, so it's got kind of a silvery tone, tarnished tone to it. So I'm like, are these silver or what are these? And I could not find any markings whatsoever. And I finally found a little tiny mark right there. And I can't read it because of my old eyes. So I need to get my loop out and take a look at it. But um, yeah, I just thought they were the most unusual eyeglasses. You can tell that one's a little bowed out. Um, but I paid five dollars for the eyeglasses but I really again it's more than I typically pay but when you see something that's unusual you never saw before designs nice because it's a very nice design me um buy it so I did I wonder if these are readers as opposed to prescriptions because they almost look like readers hmm anyway <laughs> with that and I put my glasses back on so I can see the camera um that's what we found today and yesterday. So our two-day garage sale haul. Um, appreciate you guys watching. Thank you so much for your support, your comments. Let me know, you know, if you're interested in anything, let me know, if, you know, what do you think should be on the live sale what do you, and all that good stuff. And if you think I really blew it, I'm picking some of this stuff up, which is totally possible too. But it, again, I buy what I like. So even if it might not sell, I'm okay with it. 
Um, so yeah. So thanks, guys. We'll catch you next time. Bye.